Hello photographers, today I want to show you how to speed up Lightroom and to help you through all of this yourself I've included a free PDF that'll tell you how to get at the end of the video. Now the first two things that you do have to do with changing Lightroom preferences. So with Lightroom open, you want to open the preferences pane and start with the file handling tab. And under file handling we have this camera raw cache setting option right here. This dictates how much space Lightroom can use to store things and it needs to pull up when you request them. If something can't be stored there, then Lightroom has to generate it on demand. The default size of this cache is 4 gigabytes, but if you want to increase it, you should increase it to at least 20 gigabytes. The bigger this is, the more stuff Lightroom can store there, and the easier it is for Lightroom to pull it up so that when you need it, it's available immediately. The next thing to do is to change a performance setting. So you switch over here to the performance tab, and you check this box to use the graphics processor. See. Editing your images takes a lot of processing power and you have the option here to tap your graphics processor and add some additional processing power to Lightroom which can help speed things up. Now once you've done those two things that will help give you a speed boost but one of the things you might notice still happening is when you go to view an image you double click the image to go into the loop view and it might take five or ten seconds for that image to load but did you notice how my image loaded immediately? That's because when I import my images I have Lightroom generate full-size previews as the images are imported and to do that is very very easy you actually change the settings in the import dialog so I'm gonna click the import dialog and it's gonna open up the window and as you can see over here we have this build previews option now I already have it set to full size or one-to-one -one preview yours is probably set to standard so just click the drop down and change it to one-to-one -to -one. now one thing to be aware of is that this will increase the amount of time it takes to import the photos into Lightroom but that's when you go grab a glass of wine or coffee anyway so just have two glasses of wine or two cups of coffee while you wait for those previews to build because once they're built you can immediately go to a photo and immediately see that image with very little load time and that to me is worth the wait in the beginning during the import. Now while these things will help speed up your Lightroom install it may still be slow and if it's slow the next thing to look at doing is breaking apart your catalog and this is a little bit more complicated but it's not that difficult it just takes a little bit of thought and planning. See with Lightroom you can have any number of individual catalogs and you can open and work with one catalog at a time so they live as separate different catalogs and sets of images. I used to have all of my images in this Lightroom catalog that I'm working with right here, but it was just too big and Lightroom became too slow. So to break apart your catalog, the first thing you need to do is decide what am I gonna break out? For instance, I sort my things out here in my catalog by year, so if this was my whole catalog and I needed to break it apart, to me it would be logical to break it apart by year. So let's pretend I want to export my 2016 photos as a separate catalog. All you got to do is click on the folder that is at the top, 2016, and then select all of the other folders that you want to export as part of this process. So I'm just going to hold down the shift key and click the last folder to select all of the folders in my 2016 folder here in Lightroom. With all of these highlighted, I'm going to go under File and choose the Export as Catalog option. This brings up a dialog window, and in this dialog window, we have to set a couple of things up before we just hit export and start the process. The first is the name of the catalog, and since this is 2016, for me, I would name the catalog 2016. Next, you need to pick where you're going to put this catalog, and I'm going to put it in my pictures folder, which is already selected here. Now, what you might be thinking is that you should create another folder to put this new catalog inside of with the pictures, but that is not necessary. Lightroom will automatically create the folder for you. So all you need to do is name the catalog and pick the top level folder that you want the catalog to live inside. 
Once you've done that, you need to come down to the bottom and set these export settings to properly export everything and speed up the process. The first thing you want to do is uncheck the export selected photos only option if it's checked. If you have this checked, it's only going to export photos that you've actually clicked on and selected in your Lightroom catalog. But if you uncheck it, it will export all of the photos in all of the folders that you have selected. You can see here now it says I'm going to export 941 photos. When I have it checked, it's going to export two photos, which are the two photos that I've actually actively selected here. So uncheck that. You do want to export negative files, so make sure this is checked. That will include your raw files. You do not want to build or include smart previews because that makes the exporting process and the generation of a new catalog take a long time, and that ties everything up for you. In my opinion, it's better to export the catalog and then build up those previews later. And then finally, you do want to include any possible available previews that already exist. So once you have these settings set, you hit export catalog, and it's going to do this work here to prepare. And then if you look up here in the corner, you can see it's actually gonna take some time because it's gotta export and copy all of the photos and regenerate the entire folder structure and build the actual separate new catalog. So I'm gonna go over to my finder and show you what that looks like. Here's this new 2016 folder. And inside of it, it's recreating the folder structure with all of the photos inside of that. Now, this isn't done, so you can't see the catalog file, but these are my other catalogs that I've exported. Here's my client jobs catalog. And here you can see I have the catalog, the previews, and then the folders with all of the files that I exported out of Lightroom. So you let that process happen. And then once that process is done, once this finishes exporting, what you can do is actually delete all of these folders and files from Lightroom, from the catalog that you were working from because they have been recreated in a brand new catalog. Now I'm gonna stop this process because I don't want it to go because I want to show you then how you switch from one catalog to another. Now all you gotta do is under file, choose open catalog, and then what you do is you browse to wherever all your different catalogs are and you pick the catalog you want. So I'm gonna go to my pictures folder and I'm gonna open my MMA catalog and I click the catalog itself and I choose open. I have to decide if I wanna relaunch or cancel because what it does is close the catalog you're working with and open the new one. So I do want to relaunch. You can check this don't show again option and then it won't ask. It'll just automatically relaunch for you. And here I'm going to skip my backup for right now. So now it's going to reopen Lightroom with this new MMA fight catalog. So here it is. Now you can see I've got a whole new set of folders with a whole different set of photos in them in its own catalog. And this is what gave me the greatest speed boost here in Lightroom by breaking a big catalog up into logical smaller chunks. Everything got much speedier and much easier to work with. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I've got a free PDF that will walk you through this whole process if you want some help doing this. The important thing about this, though, is making sure that you keep your organizational system intact because you need to do it in a way that will allow you to keep working with your photos. So if you have any questions about this, Lightroom, photography in general, let me know down in the comments. And then do me a favor, would you like this video and subscribe to my channel? If you really like this video, share it with your friends, especially the ones that use Lightroom. But the most important thing you need to do is get out there and take some damn photos. I will see you guys tomorrow for the live show. Um, Brewster has been in my lap the whole time I was recording this video.